Welcome aboard for another video. Thanks, Conductor Keith. As I work on and build my fictional Pencross Railway of Eastern Ontario here and add scenery and finish buildings and all that, I thought the layout needs a little dressing. The modern computer printer is the modern modeler's friend. Enter the printer. Ha ha. So, I'm going to add flags to my layout. I found the image of Ontario's flag on Wikipedia. The image of Canada's earlier flag also on Wikipedia. I used a graphics program to turn one of them into a flag for my fictional Pincross Railway of Eastern Ontario. I could have easily just reversed the image and printed it and showed the correct side facing forward. And you can do that, that's easy enough. However, I'm a bit of a purist, so I use a graphics program to make sure that on the back of the flag, this was still oriented the correct way, as was the jack here. Anyhow, once I had all the flags sorted out, it was a matter of putting them onto a sheet of paper. So I used Microsoft Word, and I arranged each image in about the size I thought would be appropriate for my large-scale railway. So I'm going to have three flags. The flag of Canada from the period my layout is set in, the flag of Ontario, which was the flag of Ontario during the period my layout is set in, but still is the current flag, and of course my railway flag. Instead of layout skirting, I like to dress my benchwork with flags that are representative of the period that I model. This one's a little early. That's the Canadian flag from the World War I era. Here's the flag of Canada from the era that my layout is set in. When I cut these out, I'm going to be sure to leave white space on the part that goes to the pole. These are just cheap, you know, skewers that I'm going to use. I can actually make these for outdoors, but this is an indoor layout, so I'm not going to go through the extra steps, but I'll tell you how I do it. And I've done it in the past for other printed things. I take a completely clear outdoor wood varnish and I paint it on very carefully, let it dry, turn it over on the other side of the paper, do the same thing. It will actually make the paper transparent uh, when it's wet, but when it dries, what you're left with is paper that's utterly waterproof and then you use a waterproof glue to put the flags together. But no, I'm not doing that now. This is for indoor use. These are high quality fabric scissors, so they're nice to cut with. They're even puppy chewed. When you put them back to back, if you find there's a little bit of white showing here and there, that's no problem, just trim it. I can't do this and hold the phone, but I'm gonna smear that around with my finger to make it nice and tacky and even, like a, say a postage stamp, and then I'll stick them together, like this. So I carefully laid the dry one on, and you can smooch it around a bit before the glue dries, and I've put some glue on this stick. There, I've tried to give it a bit of shape. So, they're drying. Now that they're dry, they're hard. These flags sure do make the station come to life a little bit. I'll paint these cut out styrofoam blocks, uh, like concrete, weather them a little bit. Really does add some life, eh? Like the wind is blowing in here. Oh, just listen. There you go, there's a train passing Castleman Station right now. Oh, Henry, uh, I'm so happy to see these flags flying here at the station. I know what you mean, Marge, I know what you mean. It's about time we had a bit of class around here. Now, I know that in this large scale, I could have actually hung the flags like they're actually on a pole with cords and whatnot and not have them wrapped around the pole itself. But I just wanted to do something simple that I don't get my fingers caught in. Keep in mind that I make a lot of videos and I move a lot of figures and vehicles and stuff around. You know, I can't have a video without running a few trains. I mean, we have to see the flags in context. If you like this video, please hit that like button, but also comment. I love the comments. I answer all of them. Subscribe, but most importantly, share this video so we can help encourage our love of trains.